हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ग्राम स्मिथ ऑर्थोगनलाइजेशन प्रोसीजर इन दिस प्रोसीजर ऑर्थो नॉर्मल सेट ऑफ बेसिस फंक्शंस आर कंसीडर्ड नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर एम एनर्जी सिग्नल्स दैट आर डिनोटेड एज एस वन ऑफ टी S two of T and so on up to S M of T. If we consider S one of T, then the first basis function phi one of T can be defined as S one of T divided by square root of E one. Let us call this as equation number one. here e1 is the energy of signal s1 of t from equation number 1 we can write s1 of t is equal to square root of e1 phi1 of t so this equation we can write it as S one one of t, phi one of t. Here S one one of t is the coefficient which is equal to square root of e one, and phi one of t is having the unity energy. Now the coefficient S two one can be defined as integration of 0 to t s2 of t phi 1 of t dt now let us introduce a new intermediate function g2 of t that can be given as s2 of t minus s2 1 phi 1 of t let us call this as equation number Two. Here, g two of t is new intermediate function. Here, g two of t is orthogonal to phi one of t. Over the interval t ranging between zero and capital T, and also second basis function phi two of t can be given as g two of t divided by square root of integration of zero to t g two square of t. dt let us call this as equation number 3 here phi 2 of t is second basis function now if we substitute equation 2 in equation 3 then we will get phi 2 of t is equal to s2 of t minus s2 1 phi 1 of t whole divided by square root of integration of 0 to t s2 of t Minus s two one phi one of t whole square dt. Therefore, we can write phi two of t is equal to s two of t minus s two one phi one of t whole divided by Square root of 
e2 minus s21 square so here in the denominator all the terms except for s21 phi1 of t represents e2 so that's why we have replaced those terms with e2 here e2 is the energy of signal s2 of t therefore integration of 0 to t phi 2 of t dt so if we integrate phi 2 of t we will get that value as 1 and integration of 0 to t phi 1 of t into phi 2 of t will be equal to 0 so from this equation we can say phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t are orthonormal so generally we can define g i of t is equal to s i of t minus summation of j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 s i j phi j of t here the coefficient s i j can be defined as integration of 0 to t s i of t phi j of t dt so here the j value should vary from 1 2 and so on up to i minus 1 for i is equal to 1 the function g i of t will reduce to s i of t therefore for g i of t we can define the basis function as phi i of t is equal to g i of t divided by square root of integration of 0 to t g i square of t dt here j value should be equal to 1 2 and so on up to capital n so this equation is general representation of orthonormal set so here capital n should be less than or equal to capital m This is about Graham-Smith orthogonalization procedure. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.